In this video, we're going to look at the decomposition of ozone, O3, into O2. That's oxygen. So we're going to balance this equation. This is an overall equation, the overall reaction for the decomposition of ozone. There are other steps in between this that get us to this O2. If you'd like to learn more about those, there's a link in the description of this video that can help you understand that. But we just want to balance the equation right now. Whenever you have an odd number, we have three oxygen atoms here. And then over here we have an even number. It's really helpful to get this to be an even number when we're balancing equations. And if we put a coefficient of two in front of the O3, now two times three, that gives us six oxygen atoms here. On the product side, we put a coefficient of three here, three times two, that gives us six. So now this equation is balanced. We have six oxygen atoms on each side. This is useful because it tells us the ratio two ozone molecules will break apart and form three oxygen molecules. Both O3 and O2, they are gases, unless you get them really, really cold. This is Dr. B with the overall equation for the decomposition of ozone, O3, into oxygen, O2. Thanks for watching.